So now in this video, we're going to use the uh, PNP bipolar junction transistor to make a current source. Last video, we used an NPN bipolar junction transistor for basically the same circuit, but technically that one was a current sink. The load had to be on the more positive side of the uh, transistor. Here we have the load on the more negative side of the transistor, which is normally where you would find loads. So this is a uh, more accurate current source. And uh, in any case, it works the same as the NPN version, but polarities are opposite. I also changed the value resistor I'm using. Instead of a 1 kilo ohm, 1,000 ohm resistor, we're going to use a 510 ohm resistor, which is pretty much half the resistance. So we'll end up with twice the current. We have the uh, Zener diode over here to set the voltage we're going to put across the current setting resistor that's on the emitter side of the transistor just like with the NPN bipolar junction transistor but uh, this time the Zener diode is on the more positive side its current setting resistor is on the more negative side and uh, so current's going to flow through its reverse bias so it drops about 5.6 volts because that's the value I selected you select the value you want always remember that and uh, in any case that voltage is going to build up across there well is forced to conduct reverse bias. That voltage is going to go to the base and you can see we have a diode there that's a P and P junction right there so we lose about 0.6 volts but in any case we got 5 volts across that resistor that is the uh, main thing and after that point the value of the resistor determines the current so it's going to be about 10 milliamps of current flowing along this series path even as the load changes so when I just measure with the meter we should be fine with 7 volts we'll see 10 milliamps as I add LEDs we'll have to raise voltage and uh, so I'm not going to go higher than 15 volts but uh, main takeaway is you need enough voltage to be able to power the load and uh, everything else and so here we are this is a 5.6 volt Zener diode cathode the black stripe right there that's to the positive supply remember you use them reverse bias they're probably the only type of diode you'll actually have conduct reverse bias and uh, we have the anode over there to that jumper which goes to the base of the transistor that's a 1 kilo ohm 1000 ohm resistor going right there doesn't have to be 1 kilo ohm uh, but the more current that flows through you're going to get a slightly higher voltage across the Zener diode and uh, less current can be lower. We have the emitter up there. So this is a PMP bipolar junction transistor, the 2N3906. So we got the flat side emitter to the top. That was the arrow on the schematic. The uh, base that was off to the side and the collector was the side without an arrow right there. So now to uh, speed things up, I already have the meter set to measure milliamps of current. I can leave the red probe where it is for this particular meter and I uh, will zoom back and you can see the power supply is set to 7 volts. We have to complete the current path through the meter to measure it. And there you can see we have almost 10 milliamps of current. That's 9.62. So it's a bit shy. Probably a couple of reasons. This is a little bit more than 500 ohms of resistance. So it won't quite be 2 milliamps per volt. But there you can see it's pretty close. 5 volts that we set. We have about uh, 10 milliamps of current. Now of course we can add a voltage to that and it will still hold true and we definitely need to add voltage if we add a whole lot of load but there you can see we increase the voltage significantly and really it's holding at uh, pretty much the exact same point so I'll zoom in so that you can see me put the LEDs I'll do this uh, quick and I uh, just add three LEDs really quick I think 12 volts will still be enough for uh, this and uh, now we'll uh, zoom back so they're in series end to end we will complete current through them and it uh, looks like I need to add another uh, volt probably to the uh, power supply there we go 13 let's see if that was enough so yeah there we go that 9.68 uh, approximately I can bypass one LED I can bypass the next one or bypass them all go right to the collector of the transistor and it's pretty much holding the exact same voltage at each point so you get the point I'm sure uh, make sure you turn the meter off and get it off of measuring current if you don't have a meter like this where you gotta 
get it off a of current to turn it off to begin with. But in any case, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That will help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.